I told my husband that I was starting a business and he wasn't even happy. I told him that I was going back to school and he didn't seem too enthused about that. It's hard to believe that you can be married to someone or in a long-term relationship with someone and they can have hidden jealousy against you, but yet they can. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. What can you do about a secretly jealous man or your man, a secretly jealous husband or fiance? I know it's very weird to think about the idea of being married to someone or in a relationship with someone who is jealous of you, especially as a woman, but they are out there. When I say jealous of you, I don't mean like jealous of other people coming at you or hitting on you or, you know, cheating and stuff like that. I'm talking about they are jealous of you leveling up, becoming a more confident, accomplished woman. When you're in a relationship with somebody, especially for a long time, and they're accustomed to you being one way, when you display signs of doing better, leveling up, becoming more confident, and they themselves are not doing that, sometimes they can look at you as a threat. Not only a threat to them, but a threat to your whole relationship. You see, when you're in a relationship with someone and you both were on the same page for a very long time and you seem content with how your life was going, However, over time, you might have discovered, you know what, I want more than just what we have right now. Now, when you're in a long-term relationship with someone, if you don't have those common goals and in interests or you don't have those common goals in mind, what will happen is that one person, normally it's the woman in the relationship, she seems to almost supersede the man in the relationship. What do I mean by that? We see today that women are accomplishing great things. Women are starting businesses. They are, you know, going into business with other people. They're starting YouTube channels. They're, you know, going back to school. They're getting highly educated. While men seemingly, and this is not for every single man, but seemingly men are becoming more content doing the bare minimum. Most men, and as you see on YouTube and other platforms like it, we have a culture of men trying to get women to lower their standards. We are we see that we have men trying to get women to lower their standards and accept less than what they deserve. And when you live in that type of environment where men kind of just want women to kind of, you know, forget about what they want in life and just accept whatever they give, whatever they offer, we are not supposed to challenge anything. We're not supposed to want more. We're always supposed to kind of give them an A for effort. When we live in that type of culture and environment, undoubtedly it can trickle over even to some of the relatively good men. They will start looking at you oftentimes as if you're doing too much by trying to do better, especially when they themselves are not ready to do better. So how do you handle that in a relationship? Number one sign that you can tell if a man, your man possibly, and I know this is awkward to think about, but if your man potentially has a little jealousy or insecurity when it comes to what you're accomplishing, he doesn't seem enthused about what you're doing. Your man, now I know somebody said before that, you know, somebody shouldn't, you know, worry about people celebrating you and all of that. When it comes to celebrating you, your man should celebrate you. He should be your biggest cheerleader and you should be his. So when you tell your man that you're doing something great and he gives you that, oh, that's good, babe. Okay, that's good. They say bae all the time. That's good. That's good. All right. Yep. He gives you that dry reaction. There's something there in my opinion. If a man, his woman, if he sees you doing great things and he can't understand that by you doing great things, not only are you making yourself better, but in extension, you're making him better. But when a man is jealous and insecure, he will see any move you make as a threat to his manhood. So what can you do about that? My number one thing I would say is, number one, try not to be with a person who was like that in the first place. And that's what that's where proper vetting comes in during the dating stage. You want to be very leery of men who look at your career and they're highly impressed. What do I mean by them being highly impressed? Let's say you're an accountant, you're an executive, you're a CEO of a company, 
and he constantly asks you about those kind of things while you're dating and he you know calls you things like big money and say okay you know like he's amping you up like you're this boss lady that's not the man you want to marry that's not the type of man you want to be with you see because when men say things like that earlier on not only are they setting the expectation that you will constantly be in the leadership position and they can kind of fall back on you if you begin to elevate and do too much a man with that type of talk that type of mentality he's going to begin to become threatened by you and start throwing little pot shots and he's pretty much going to get in the way as you elevate you don't want to deal with a man who is constantly looking at you like your boss lady you're you're this kind of woman you're higher up because while you might think it's a sign of you know endearment it's actually him already displaying his insecurity by the way he views you now a man who is secure within himself but he's dealing with a more accomplished woman or you have decided to level up in your relationship so you're evolving as a woman you're not the same woman that he married you're the same but you're doing more things you're doing better things you're no longer just an employee you're now an employer you're no longer you know just uh you know a stay-at-home wife you're doing other things and there's nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home wife or mom but what i'm saying is when you add more things to your repertoire as a woman and you're doing more your husband should celebrate that your fiance should celebrate that and when they don't that is showing that it's something on the inside of them that is missing and as a woman you have to be careful to not let their responses their reactions stop you from doing better sometimes as women we allow the reactions from our husband from the men in our lives to hold us back from doing better and being better sometimes men are dealing with things that really have nothing to do with us and they really can't display the type of reaction we would like them to because of something going on within themselves i know there were times where my husband was never that way toward me but because of the different things he had going on within himself going through different transitions in life i was very mindful to not not dumb myself down because I would never tell a woman to dumb herself down. But you do want to be mindful of your man's feelings because with men, it is a lot about ego. So if you're doing great things and let's say, let's say you just started a business, but your man lost his job. That's not the time for you to brag to him about you starting a business. Now in that, you can feel secure knowing that while he's going through this hurdle, I kind of can, you know, be there in that kind of supportive helpmate role as you're supposed to be. But under no circumstances should you flaunt it in his face or dumb yourself down. You see, that's a part of being a wise woman, knowing how not to provoke jealousy or provoke envy or provoke a negative response while also still feeling confident in what you're doing. But let's say none of that is the issue and your man is doing great or seemingly great in life or your boyfriend, he's doing well in life. But every time he sees you doing something, he's trying to talk you out of it. Like, why do you need to do that? Why do you need to go to that event? Why do you need to go to all these seminars and these talks? Why do you keep going with these girls conferences and stuff? What's that about? When a man is insecure, sometimes he feels better with you not doing anything because that's a form of him having control. Now, as feminine women, we want our men to take the lead. But a masculine, truly masculine man understands the difference between taking the lead and being in control of someone. When a man is trying to stop you from getting a job, he's trying to stop you from, you know, pursuing your education. He's trying to stop you from opening a business or whatever it is you're trying to do to better yourself. For goodness sake, you got some men who try to stop you from going to the gym because he doesn't want you to look too good because he sees your potential. He sees that if you got rid of some of that weight, you will be, as they say, a true baddie. Other men will be after you and he might have to step up his game as a man. You see, those kind of things are what insecure, jealous type of men do. They try to hold you back from anything that will encourage you or make you look better as a woman 
So when you're dating, this is a very important thing to understand. When you're dating, that's when you normally can see those red flags. But a lot of women are so in awe. They're so in love. They have all the little butterflies that they overlook a lot of little negative things and nasty, insecure things that men do because he got you feeling all good on the inside. And as a woman, you have to be wise and know who you're with. You don't want to be surprised down the line when you have a man who he's content with just baked beans and hot dogs. He don't want to do nothing else in life. He just want to sit there and just get by. You don't want to deal with a man who has that kind of mentality. All men are not highly ambitious. I'm not saying that the man you're going to be with is going to want to be the president of the United States or he's going to want to be that executive or CEO. He might be content doing whatever he's doing in his career and he might want to excel just being an employee and go to the top of the corporate ladder. Nothing wrong with that. The issue comes in when a man is insecure to the point where he tries to stop his ambitious wife from moving forward. See, Masculine men understand that when a woman moves forward in life, when she's doing better, when she's looking better, when she's feeling good and confident, that's a reflection on them as a man in the relationship. You ever hear the saying that the bigger the smile is on the woman's face, the happier she is, or you can tell she's with a good man by the smile on her face? Well, that is true. If a woman always looks like she's going through something, like she's being dragged through the dirt, and yet she has a full grown husband at home, that signals not only something wrong with her, that signals something wrong with the relationship. I can't tell you how many times I hear women complaining about money issues, complaining about, you know, not having anybody to watch the kids, not having anybody to do this, to do that. Meanwhile, she's married to a man. Meanwhile, she's in a long-term relationship with a whole man. Those kind of things should not be. So when you are dealing with someone in the dating phase as a woman, you want to watch out for signs of insecurity, jealousy, and just envious, wicked, negative, toxic behavior in the man that you're dating. You don't want to get to the point where you get married and then all of a sudden you don't you didn't realize you have somebody that's not really on your side. You have somebody that's okay with you as long as you're not trying to move forward in life as a woman. You don't want that. So as wise feminine women dealing with the jealous man dealing with the jealous husband dealing with the je jealous boyfriend dealing with jealous men period can be very unsettling and uneasy for a woman and not just in a relationship in general we live in a spirit of confusion time where men think they are us men are trying to be us men are trying to compete in areas that they were not meant to be in and a lot of it is the fault of women because we keep inviting men into these spaces where they do not belong i don't need a man sitting next to me in the nail salon nothing wrong with the man getting a nice manicure and all that stuff but a lot of masculine men that is not the top that is not on the top of their to-do list getting their manicures and their pedicures and, you know, worrying about what you're wearing. As long as it's something appropriate, of course, your man's going to want you to look appropriate. But all that extra stuff that we have going on with these saucy, sassy acting men, I think a lot of us as women have given men permission to come onto territory where they don't belong. And as feminine women, as women, if we want to stay in that more feminine submissive dainty kind of role we have to make sure that we are not signaling to men that we want them to be like us i don't want my man soft sassy acting i don't want my man soft and sassy sitting around in onesies with me i don't need all of that go fix something go build something go do something you see when a man is content and he has his own goals and aspirations or at least has hobbies he doesn't have time to worry about what you're doing as a woman. He doesn't have time to be jealous of you or insecure about what you're doing or threatened by what you're doing because he has his own thing. Even if his own thing is a hobby, that is a beautiful thing for a man to have a hobby because that way he's not all in your business when you are trying to level up and do what you do, whether it be financially, mentally, physically, getting your body together, getting your business together, 
We don't want men in our lives that are going to hate on everything we do. That's very off-putting and that's a quick way to dry up everything, if you know what I mean. So as feminine women, you should not want to deal with a jealous man. And if you see any signs of jealousy or insecurity or what you deem as jealousy or insecurity in relationship, don't snap. First, figure out if something's going on with your man. Because sometimes men go through things, you know, and they don't like to talk a lot of times. They don't want to tell us what's going on. They just get in their modes. So first try to figure out, let him open up to you. Let him tell you possibly what's going on. Let him go through, especially if you're a married woman, you got to have a little bit of patience. But if over time you have seen behaviors in that man that signals that he has a wicked, jealous, demonic spirit of jealousy, you probably want to separate from that kind of man because you will not be able to be at peace or at ease within yourself if you are dealing with a man who is supposed to be your quote partner, but he is fighting you every step of the way. A marriage cannot survive that way. A long-term relationship cannot survive that way. A friendship cannot survive that way, be it with man or woman. Jealousy is nothing to play with, especially in a relationship. You don't want to deal with a jealous man as a woman. It is very off-putting and it will not only ruin your relationship, but it will cause you as a woman to come out of that feminine posture and into the more masculine, I don't need no man, I don't want no man, men ain't this kind of mindset. And if you can help it, you want to make sure you're vetting properly so that you're attaching yourself to a man who is confident, secure, and at least unbothered in his masculinity. All right? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you have not gotten the book, How to Be a Feminine Woman, The Blueprint, I will leave the link in the description box below. And I have another book, How to Detox from Toxic People. I will leave the link in the description box below. Watch out for those jealous men. Jealousy is absolutely nothing to play with, ladies. Take care.